G'day guys, today we got a boat in with a Yamaha 100 horsepower. It's a four stroke outboard, the F100 debt. Um, it's starting but it won't idle. It runs for about half a second and then cuts out. So I'll start it now just so you can hear it. Normally you wouldn't start without water in the motor, but it's only running for half a second. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, I got a feeling I know what the problem is, but I'm going to run through, check a few things first before I jump to any conclusions. Um, now I do have a broken arm at the moment, so I'll try to get through this as quick as I can. So bear with me. All right, the first thing I've already checked um, in the end here are your spark plugs. I've checked them, um, pulled them out, put them against the motor, and I'm, I'm still getting a decent spark out of them. There's this cover here comes out of there with just, I think there's four or five Phillips head bolts. Um, but yeah, I've checked all them. The second thing I've checked, I unplugged the injectors here um, and checked injector pulse. Um, I just used a Noid light. Um, some of you may not have that, you can just use your, your normal test light like this or a circuit tester, whatever you like to call it <clears throat> just either side and when you crank you should get an injector pulse which I do have um, the next step was to check fuel um, I've taken off this filter here, I believe it's a, a water separator filter um, if you unscrew that, you actually have to unplug this first and then unscrew that. And then just give your, your primer bulb a bit of a squeeze and you should see fuel squirt out of there. Um, then you know you're getting fuel from your tank to this point here. Um, it then comes through into the low pressure pump. Um, so the best way to check that, some will have a filter here. Um, this one's just a, a little join you can undo any of them and just give it a, a quick start or a crank and you should have a, a bit of fuel squirt out of there um, and that's I've checked that fuel come out so we know the fuel's getting up to there it then goes through in here um, it's hard to see but in behind this manifold there's a case here and the fuel pump is inside there um, that would normally be the next step, but I've only just recently replaced the fuel pump on this boat, on this motor. So I'm going to go ahead and say that that's not the problem. Um, so we got spark, we got fuel. The other thing we needed was air. Um, so I've gone ahead, I'll turn the light on so you can see. There you go. I've gone ahead and taken this little intake off. Um, it just pulled off there. And there's top and bottom two um, long terminal bolts. Um, and that just popped off out of the way. And you'll then need to take this, this top cover off here. There's no, no bolts holding it on. It is just lifts up like so. Just rubber clips. It just pops onto... Oops, sorry. Pops onto them there. <clears throat> the next step, which I believe was the fault all along, this right here, is your IAC valve or idle air control valve. Um, basically, when the motor's idling, there's no air getting through the butterfly there. So this lets a small amount of air into the intake so it can idle. Um, it's actually run by the computer so the computer can actually change how much it opens and closes it and get it to idle how it wants to so i'm going to unplug this and undo that and we're going to check it and test that all right there's just two phillips screws one here and one on the other side of it so we'll undo this one here
one. As you can see, this is a bit of a pain with only using one arm. All right, and there's the second one in there. Right, that one's out. I probably should have done this first, but unplug it. There's just a little clip on the back. Pull that in, and that will lift up. Hopefully, there we go. And it's usually a bit tight in there because there'll, there'll be a seal, but that should pop right out. There's your rubber seal in there. And just pop this hose off the back. All right, that right there is your idle air control valve. Basically, there's a plunger inside here. This is where it brings the air in. The plunger goes through like that and blocks it or opens it. That's how it lets air in, or if you accelerate, it then closes up and air then goes into the your normal intake in through the butterfly. I'll take this apart so you can see what it looks like inside. All right, this has just got two little torque screws holding that in. Yep, so that's in all the way in the out position. <coughs> and it's seized. That's seized out, so that's not going to let any air in. So I believe that's why it's not going to be idling. The It should move in and out like that. Um, so I can let air in and out. So this is what I thought it was going to be. I do have... A new one here, a genuine one. Um, I'll get that out and put it in. Hopefully that fixes it. There we go. There's the new one. Now these aren't cheap. Um, genuine, this one I believe was $470. So if you can get this one working, um, whether or not you clean the shaft or there's a little motor inside that it's pretty sealed but if you can oil it inside there you may be able to get the old one working um, but this boat goes out a long way so we're just going to do the safe thing and replace it so, pop that in there So. Oh, new rubber's a bit tight on there. Put that hose back on. And I'll just I'll plug it in now, um, and I'll put these bolts back in. You don't have to watch that. We all know that's boring. So I'll get this back in, and we'll test it out. All right, that's back on now, plugged in. Um, I'm going to leave this off for now. It won't hurt. There's not actually a filter in there, so um, and I'll leave this top cover off, just as long as I keep my fingers away from that. And we'll give it a start and test it out. There you go. Starts and runs. All it was was the IAC valve. Um, this one's fixed. I'll put it all back together, put these covers back on, and it'll be good to go again. I'll um, I'll get some water in this and give it a proper run. But I don't want to run it any longer than that without water. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully that helps you out.